Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Everyone always gets wrecked by fractions. Let's see why there's no reason for that to happen here. So they have a three on the bottom both here. Well, when you are adding or subtracting fractions, as long as they have the same number on the bottom, you just add or subtract across the top. Both of these are negative here. So since this guy already started negative and we're subtracting this, really we're just going more further in the negative direction. So we're actually just going to do five plus that one since we're essentially going downward anyway. That's going to end up giving us a negative negative 6 over 3. In that case, 6 divided by 3 is just going to give us 2, so we're going to end up with negative 2 as a final answer, which is D. Number two on the mathematical knowledge says that the volume of an object is measured in what? And it has here inches, squared units, cubic units, or quadrants. So this is talking about like the first dimension, second dimension, and third dimension. So in the first dimension, we just have like dots or like a line. So a collection of dots here. So you're measuring from like this guy to this guy, and that's in your standard unit, if that be inches or something else. Once you move to a second dimension, so something like a square thing now instead of a line, then we're going to go ahead and start talking about squared units instead. Now, once that becomes three-dimensional here, that is when we got to move up again away from the squared and into our cubic units. So in this case, the volume, which is a three-dimensional figure, would be C, cubic units. So number three is a definition question. When you're calculating the area of a figure, you are finding the what? The distance around the object, the length of a side, the amount of space that an object covers, or the number of sides it has. So if I'm looking at area here, I'm looking at everything inside of that shape, like how much area that it covers. So that's going to be the amount of space that the object covers. Answer is C. So number four can actually be a little tricky when you realize that you don't get to use a calculator. So let's break this down. You always do order operations that items in parentheses first. So 84 minus five is gonna give us 79. Then we have the three times 54 over here. Well, I know three times 50 is 150. Three times another four would be adding another 12. So 150 plus 12 means that this should be 162. Now the 12 times 79 is gonna be a bit more, but the way I'm going to think of this as 10 times 79 is 790, and then you just got to add two more 79s onto there, giving us a total of 948. So we have 948 minus this 162, and when we do that out, it's going to give us a final answer of 786, which is answer D. For number five, we want to know which one of these is the smallest. Well, the quickest way to do this correctly without any like guess and check type thing would recognize that all of these numbers go into the number 60 on the bottom, meaning that if we have 33 out of 60 here, we can convert all of these to a fraction with 60 on the bottom very easily and get our answer. So 10 times what gives me 60? Six. So that means we do six times the top as well. Six times six is 36. Then we know that 15 times 4 gives us 60, so 8 times 4 gives me 32, so now we have 36, 32, 33, and 20 times 3 would give us 60, so 11 times 3 will also give us 33, so out of these top numbers here, the one that is the smallest is B, 8 over 15. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you want to see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here, and they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful day.